Hey everybody, I just got back from the Walmart. I just went for just a couple things and it turned out to be a few things. Although it's still a really small haul, I thought I would just show you what I got anyway. All right, so starting off in this corner as usual, I got this basket because my husband has a big pile of batteries for his power tools and like our leaf blower and our weed eater and drills and he also keeps his drills and things like on the floor behind our couch and so I wanted to keep them collected and I needed a basket and Walmart didn't have too much of a selection but I think this will work out it's a nice plastic one it's black and I wanted that color and I like how there are holes because hopefully um, the cords will fit through the holes and the charger can still charge while the cord hangs out and is plugged into the wall. I don't know, it might not work out. Oh, and here's a bigger hole up here if we need to use it. So I think it'll work out great. So it's nice and kind of tall. It's not very long this way, but I think this will work out. And this was $8 and change. We needed some Drano. I always get Drano Max Gel. Um, I have this really awful slow drain or slow clog in my bathroom and I really need to get it snaked. But I'm not gonna snake it, that's nasty. I'm gonna see if my husband will snake it. I've already tried the baking soda and the hot water and all that stuff. So the only thing left is really to snake it <laughs> and Drano Max it. And I did have, I did Drano Max it once or twice already. So I do, I just bought more and we need to snake it and it, it is what it is. <laughs> but I'm not snaking nothing because that's just icky. It'll gross me out, it'll make me barf. Needed some more eggs, so I just got the cage-free eggs. These are the brown ones. They're really good, and I like how you can see through them and make sure they're not cracked. So, anywho, I needed some Tums. Every now and then you need a good Tums, and the tropical fruit flavor is really good. And this is the ultra strength, so... And then, on the way out of the store, well, on the way out, when I was going to the checkout stand, I noticed this cranberry ginger ale. I thought, what? Now, back in the day, I used to get the cranberry Sprite, and I used to love it, but I haven't really seen that around. I've seen the cherry Sprite, but even still, I've never seen cranberry ginger ale, so I'm hoping it's really good, and I'm gonna save it for Christmas Day. Um, for when I have my family over for, for dinner. That'll be really good. I needed an onion, so I grabbed one of those. And then I already bought this last week. It's that Lucy Rose apple. I'm gonna cut this open for you today and we're gonna do a taste test. So I decided to just take it out of the fridge and show it to you again. But I think I heard it's with the Honeycrisp family, but I, I can't remember. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But the inside is kind of pink and white and marbly and really nice. And yeah, I just noticed a whole section of lights went out on my tree. Every single year. <sighs> Too late. I'm not stringing more. I'm not. I already have three or four sections that have gone out. And so I've already got separate strands of lights added to my pre-lit tree and now it looks like a whole section. One of the last sections of the pre-lit lights have, have, has gone out. Ugh, what a pain. Anyway, I digress. I got me some paper Christmas plates because I thought it was so convenient and lovely to have Thanksgiving paper plates. It was just the best. And so I'm going to do it again for Christmas. And Christmas at my house, it's always more casual than Thanksgiving anyway. 
So, you know, we're just having ham and little wieners and some yams and taters and things. It's just going to be really informal. So it was just nice to have paper plates because then I could stick all of my cooking things, all of my pots and pans and whatever else I use, I could just stick it in the mic or in the dishwasher and not have to worry about all of the plates taking up all the spice. I got some stocking stuffers for my friend. I have to mail these to her kids um, along with gift cards and things, but I just got a pack of Pop Rocks. There's three packs in here and they're candy cane flavor. And these are just a dollar. And this was also a dollar, the Muddy Buddies. I've actually never tried Muddy Buddies, but these sound good. They're peanut butter and chocolate. And then I saw these monster sized gumballs and they're probably rock hard, but oh well. They were also a dollar. And then I just grabbed some mini M&Ms. These are also a dollar. So I'll be mailing all of these with their other gifts. I got my husband this for Christmas, an Energizer Vision headlamp. This was, I think, $15. Um, he's he uses them, but he doesn't have one. He always uses our friends, and so I decided to get him one because I never know what to get him for Christmas. So they had a whole bunch of different kinds and brands and price variations, but this one seemed like in the middle, so I decided to get this one. Also, I got some Solo Cups for Christmas and just for any other time. I, it's always good to have some plastic cups in your pantry. Um, to go along with the Tums, I got me some Gas X Ultra Strength. I really like this stuff. So yeah, the eight I got the 18 count soft gel. These were five dollars and change. I needed some everyday napkins. I grabbed one of those, and I needed some tomatoes. So I just grabbed a couple of Romas, and these grapes are really good. Walmart always has the best grapes and cheese. I love their shredded Colby Jack cheese, but I didn't need cheese. So anyway, yeah, I know I need to wash these first, but I'm going to taste it again. Mm. So sweet and really firm and juicy. I taste them in the store. I'm sorry, I do. Judge me all you want, but I'm tired of bringing home a sour bag of grapes because I didn't taste it first. So I don't buy grapes very often, so it's not like I go into the store and sample all the grapes all the time. But anyway, these are good. Um, Bought some toilet paper, needed some of that. And I also bought a big old pack of bottled water. It's outside. But we usually get this and bottled water at Sam's Club or Costco, but um, we're not going there anytime soon, so, yeah. We just ran out of the toilet paper today, so I went and went ahead and bought it at the Walmart. Um, since these are sitting here, my husband brought these home last night. He actually did go to, um, Costco during working hours. He went on his lunch break, and they got some stuff like this for their office workers for Christmas. But he brought these home because I'm going to be giving these to um, Daryl's family. We needed four. These are the Godiva chocolates. Um, I think they were like $10 a box. So I think that's what he said. And then he bought two of these. These are the Fernwood candies. We have Fernwood chocolate shops here in Utah, Salt Lake, um, and in the grocery stores. But um, he, this was a good deal. This was $8 for a big pound bag. So he got himself one of these. He loves these. And then he got one for his brother for Christmas. And then over here from Walmart, back to Walmart, this was only $4.75. $4 I can't see the price on here, but it was only $4.75. And I wanted one of these for Christmas, just to wear under sweaters and things. So I don't have a red one, 
and I thought about, I really need a red shirt. And voila. So for $4.75, I got one. And it was kind of in the junior section. So I got extra large. These are um, cotton and polyester. 60% cotton and the rest polyester. But I don't think it, it'll shrink. And if it does, it won't shrink much. But I like to get the extra large when I'm in the juniors because they're, you know, they run smaller. Um, yeah. And then as a little bonus, I went to Rock, or Michael's really quickly and I bought some wooden beads. Um, these are $4.99 a package. I did have a 20% coupon off of one regular price item. So I didn't know which ones I really wanted the most, but I can always use some no matter what. So I got this size, the eight millimeter balls, and then I got this, and this was also $4.99, and these are the 12 millimeter balls. I have a craft that I'm gonna make, and I saw this um, twine. I wasn't gonna get it, it was $2.99, but, because I have some jute from the Dollar Tree, but you know, it's really thin and like furry, which is fine, I still might use it, but I saw this and I liked how it was um, white and brown, so I went ahead and picked this up just in case I wanted to use it more or you know I wanted if I wanted to use it more so than the other so anyway I'm gonna be doing like a garland a felt garland craft with these and I needed the beads to kind of weight the string down otherwise it was just gonna be this light floppy string and I wanted it to have structure so I needed the beads to kind of weight it down so it'll be cute and yeah that's it for the haul. Let's get on with the taste test. All right, I got my apple nice and washed, and I washed my hands, and we're gonna slice into this. Just you wait. I saw these on TV. That's how I found out about them, because I had never heard of them before. <laughs> okay, you guys. Ooh, there it is. Pretty fancy, huh? These looked really pretty in the salad that I saw on TV. It was a local news station here and they were talking about these apples and how they had them in a salad and stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, those look so good. So anyway, this is what they look like. And some look different than others. You know, some are more pink in the middle and some are more like this one, I guess. But I think they're really cool. So I'm gonna cut this up and we're gonna give it a taste. Here we go. This is supposedly, supposedly like a Honeycrisp. Mmm. A little tart, but it's good. Tastes just like an apple. It is like a honey crisp. It's really crispy and juicy. It's a little on the tart side, like a Granny Smith almost, but. It's really good. So the, the marbling, it goes all throughout the whole apple so if you had like a spinach salad or just a nice salad where you put apples or pears with like a nice vinaigrette maybe some candied pecans these would look really pretty just like thinly sliced really pretty these taste really good they just taste like an apple but they're tasty Really juicy, really juicy. So again, I just wish they were a tiny bit sweeter. Maybe this particular one I grabbed, maybe they're sweeter than this normally, but I mean, it's sweet, but it's not like red delicious, you know, it's not, it's not like one of those, but anyway, it's really good. Again, they're called Lucy Rose, Lucy Rose. And I found this at Harmon's 
I'm in Utah. I don't know if they're all throughout the nation. I don't know. But they're good. They're expensive. This apple was $2.50. So it will get eaten. <laughs> anyway, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and go get you a Lucy Rose apple. And we'll see you next time.